this tutorial, I will be showing you how to use Visual Studio 2010 Professional. It's just a trial version, so I'll do the link in the description when I download it. And we want this is Visual Basic part of it. So I'll be showing you today how to make a keygen. So what you want to do is you want to click New Project. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to make a keygen, or whatever, alright, and then for keygen you want to click on the form application, uh, the thing I like about one visual basic, it's really simple, well, for the most part, and it's going to load it, so it's down here, creating project on this application one, I haven't really figured out how to like make it into EXE. Some people know how, but I haven't had enough time to search how to do that. So I'm gonna show you how to build it. Yeah. Creating a project now. It says creating a project when there's application one project creation successful. But it's still loading. Okay. Alright. First, you want to, I usually expand it a little. Alright. And then you're going to want to create some labels. Just say label. Changes here. And so if you double click something, it will change to code form. Alright. That's not responding. But if you double click it, it changes it, it changes it into code form like this. If you single click it, it will just bring you to this toolbar over here. So make sure you single click it if you want to change something. So I'll say key. Uh, Alright, and then knock. And then I want to say generate to generate button. So I'll change button one to generate. And then you want to put a text box in there, which is right here. I think. I can line things up, so. Yeah. And you want to do, if, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two key gens, One for 32-bit and one for 64-bit. So, create, you click generate here, it'll create 64-bit. And in fact, I should click this. Again, change it to 32-bit key. I'll change this to 64 bit key. Alright, and then you want to put in a text box. Line up. And you want to see another button. Change this to generate. This tutorial is just for educational purposes only, so I'm not going to put the keys in, because I don't have them plus, yeah. But, I'll show you where to put them. So what you're wanting to do, uh, whichever one, but when you're making the keys for the 30-bit, click generate, double click generate, or bring it to the code side. Then you want to, I'll put this, this 
um, code into this sort of. And what you're only going to do is everything inside these um, quotation marks, you're going to put the key, product, product key, whatever it is. Or whatever. And you're going to put one for each of them. And if you run out, then you just delete the whatever is left. But don't delete ends left. Just delete the cases that are left over. And for the 64 bit, you do the same thing. Put it here. Put the keys inside the um, quotation marks. And then you're basically done. And then after that, you're, wanting to, you're going to want to say F5, which is debug. Okay. And it's going to make a little demo of it. And with it generate, it should come with X's and it did. And that, but the 32 bit would come up with the code you put in the 32 bit generate. And then with the here, it should come up with X's too, which is not for some reason. Let me take them off. I'm going to do the book. Yeah. That's how it goes though. And then, I think it's because this is, they're both the name the same thing. So let me change this to generate two. And generate now. I don't know why this one wasn't appearing. I think it's because they both had X. Oh no, I remember why. It and when you're creating two generate buttons or any type of button, you just change text. If you're doing it for two separate things, you have to change it to this, like text box two. One more. There. Now let's try it. Say F5 again. Okay. Click here, generate. X disappear. Click here. X disappear. There, we made a simple key gen. The X is you put in the product here, wherever it is called. You want to say build. You want to say build Windows application 1. Just build it, build it, succeeded, succeeded. You want to click save, and you want to say save all. Name it whatever you want, and once you name it up here, it'll appear down here too. Whatever, and you want to say save, and it'll come out as a product. Thank you for watching.